Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful spring day here in Minnesota. Got my buddy Jake up here with me today. We're gonna try for some crappie. We fished this spot last year and did pretty well, so I figured we'd come give him another try this spring. So this is kind of a small bay off a bigger main lake. I'm pretty sure there's still ice out on the main lake, but water temp should be about 50 degrees or so back here. It warms up pretty quick. Hopefully we'll find some crappie roaming around back here. So I think I'm gonna start out shallow today. It's nice and warm out, it's about 60 degrees. The water temp is, I don't know, maybe 52. So I think those fish are gonna be up shallow. Got my slip bobber set up, tied on here. I've got a bobber stop there, maybe about a foot and a half above my little tungsten ice jig. I've got a VMC Mongo jig tied on there. I really like those jigs. They have a little bit longer hook shank. That really works well for plastics. And I'm running a Nico wax worm on that guy today. Toss that right up along the edge. Those dead cattails there. We've actually got decent water clarity out here today. I was expecting it to be a little bit more muddy than it is, but I can see the bottom and probably about four feet of water when that sun comes out. So I think what I'm going to do is let that bait sit for maybe five, ten seconds, and then I'll just pull it back a little bit, maybe about a foot just to give it a little bit of action. We'll see if that works to catch a few crappie out here today. There's a fish. Looks like a crappie. Well, that didn't take too long. First crappie of the day on that little Nico waxworm. Yeah, he's up there in probably, I don't know, two and a half, three feet of water. So I did catch one fish over there off that shoreline, but we decided we'd move around and explore a little bit. So we're gonna head back here. This little canal actually connects to the bigger lake out there, but there's another little pond, kind of like this one back here too. Oh, something just bit it there. Here he comes. He came back for it. Oh, there we go. Nice. Got the loons calling in the background. Oh, we did make our way back here to this second little bay. Took a little while to find them, but finally found one willing to bite. Look at that. That's a beauty of a crappie. We did fish the channel coming into here a little bit, but it was only a couple feet deep in there. Pretty swampy looking, and the water was actually a couple degrees colder out there. It's about 54 degrees back here. All right, found one. There's one, there's gotta be more. And toss that bobber right back over there. We'll let it drift in there. There's one. Was that a crappie? I think so. Oh yeah, that's a crappie. Kind of thought he looked like a bass for a second. Nope. That's a crappie. Uh oh. Gonna lose my paddle if I'm not careful. Look at that, just barely had him hooked. All right, there's a the second one I found back here in the second little bay. Yeah, they're definitely back here. The 
wind is picking up a little bit, which I honestly don't mind. A little bit of chop helps bounce my bobber a little bit and jigs my jig without me having to do anything. Just let it sit out there in a fishy looking spot. My jig will bounce up and down a little bit with those waves. net away and then I'm gonna turn around and my bobber's gonna be down. Oh, maybe not. Alright, I worked my way down that way a little bit but it started getting kind of shallow so I turned around. Oh, look at that. It turned away for a second. My bobber was down. Leave myself enough line there. There we go. Alright. It's got to be about a half dozen I've caught back here now. Still got that same Nico wax worm. Those things are pretty much indestructible. That's one reason why I really love those plastics. You put one on and Usually, it'll last you the entire day. No messing around with re-rigging or anything like that. You get to spend more time fishing. Yeah, I like that. Give it a few minutes in there. It looks like they made a little boat channel leading to that house, but yeah, I didn't catch anything in there either. Seems like off to this side of that, it's about three feet deep where I'm sitting. And then on the other side, it was only about two feet deep. So these fish seem to like that little bit deeper water out in front of these cattails. go. Little guy, but I'll take that. I'm going to have to get out my pliers to get that hook out of there though. There we go. Tell you what, it sure is nice just being out here catching some fish. Been out a couple days this week already. I went and tried for largemouth bass. Got skunked doing that in 42 degree water. Went and tried for pike. Got skunked doing that. And I don't know, it was 43, 44 degree water. I almost wonder if the pike are spawning right now or something. And just not willing to bite. Maybe I have to give them another week or two. But these crappie are a lot of fun. Seems like I need to have that bobber about five to 10 feet out in front of the edge there. That seems to be that zone where I'm getting the most bites today. We'll just let it sit there for a second. Those waves are bouncing my bobber up and down a little bit. There's something over there that should get them to bite. Maybe pull it in. Another foot. Yeah, that's the spot. That's where that bobber is going to go down right there. What did I tell you?
pretty much all of them have been hooked right in that upper lip. About average size out here today. I'd say that's maybe 11, 11 and a half inch fish. Yeah, they put up a pretty good fight on this little rod. I'm fishing them with a five foot nine medium power extra fast action St. Croix Legend Tournament walleye rod. It's honestly kind of light for a medium rod though. Works pretty well for these crappie. Yeah, they put a little bend in that rod. Come here, you. Just picking them off one after another. There we go. Ooh. Right. Get in my nets. Yeah, that's a nice one. Look at that, right in the upper lip. Barely had him hooked. They are such pretty fish, aren't they? All right, I'll catch you later. Well, it's hard to leave while the fish are biting. I might catch one more and then paddle out there and see if Jacob is having any luck. He was gonna head back out into the little canal. There's a little bit of an open area right in the middle in there. He was gonna go see if he could find any fish in there, so. One more, we'll paddle out there and see if he's finding any. This looks pretty good in here. Water is about three feet deep between me and those cattails. That should be perfect. Anything less than two feet deep, I haven't found any fish in today, so. I'm at probably close to three. I know my fish finder says like 2.2 or so, but. There's a fish. The crop here. This is such fighters. go. Yeah, there's a nice one. Hooked in that same spot. We'll get you unhooked, little buddy. Off you go. Oh, got one nibbling on mine there. I'll pull it a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. This one I got on feels pretty nice, too. Felt like he had more weight when I set the hook on him. He's a decent fish. He's not huge by any means, but nice little double. I've got one. Jacob's got one over there. I think his is probably a little bit bigger. If he's getting out the bump board for it. Nice. Mine's probably about 12. Way 
<laughs> it's perfect out here. That one was pretty close to the edge of those cattails up there. I'll get my anchor stick dropped. Oh man, this one's running. Is this a crappie even? I'm not sure what that was. I didn't see him jump. Oh, it is a bass. There are some bass back here. Look at that. Jeez, I thought it was nothing but crappie. We fished this spot a couple of times, probably caught about 60 crappie back here, and that was the first bass that I've found. Yeah, he hit that little jig pretty good too. Pulled that bobber right down. All right, <laughs> first bass of the year, yeah. There's one. Yeah, it feels like a good fish. Um, no, nah, that's all right. There's a decent one. Well, we did fish our way back into here along that shoreline. We didn't really have much action, so figured we'd stop back here, kind of right inside where the channel leads into the bay. Jacob was hammering him over here most of the afternoon, so <laughs> this might be where all the fish are in here. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today's trip. What an awesome day it's been out here. We both caught a ton of crappie, both myself and Jacob. Make sure you guys check out his channel, Jagged Tooth Tackle. I'm sure he'll have a video from today's trip too. We caught a couple really nice ones. So I'll leave a link to his channel down in the video description, as well as links for all the gear I was using out here today. So yeah, it's a fun day out here in the kayak. Definitely glad I came out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.